my dad's greatest advice he's ever given me and it took me about 35 years before I actually understood what he meant. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you this insight and once you apply it, you'll probably just get the same kind of insight that I had, which is, oh my God, why have I been waiting doing so many other things? And look at it today here. You can see out here in Singapore, it's raining again. And my goodness, does it rain out here in Singapore? So shall we go for it? Yes, let's go for it. I am Dan Warburton, a transformational coach who's known for having enabled thousands of entrepreneurs and business owners to succeed in extraordinary ways. I've also got web spaces full of testimonies backing this up, and I'm often invited to speak to audiences of thousands around the world about what transformation makes possible. I now get to live an extraordinary lifestyle, and I want you to be able to experience the same. You know, my father has always been just so loving and so caring and just like, just so amazing with me. You know, I'm really looking forward to going back to England. I'm going back in, well, five days for Christmas. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing my family. I haven't seen my dad for uh, four months now. I really miss all my family. But he gave me an insight when I must have been six years old. I'd say seven years old. And we were walking along the pathway and it was, a, it, it was like a grey overcast day and it was a bit windy and it was cold, you know, classic English weather. And I was wrapped up in this jacket and I was walking next to my dad and I used to argue a lot with my dad when I was younger, but every so often we'd have these amazing moments. And he said to me, Sunshine, I'm going to tell you something. And what I'm going to tell you, I want you to really think about it. And as he did this, he got on his knees and he stood and he kind of knelt in front of me and so that his eyes were, were level with mine. And then he said, Sunshine, are you listening? I said, yeah, I'm listening. And he said, Sunshine, the most important thing in your life is your mental attitude. I thought, huh? Yeah, okay. Really like not having any idea what he meant. And then the funny thing is, is from then on, I just became one of these nightmare kids, you know? Like, I struggled, I didn't fit in at school, I failed on most of my exams, my education, I then got into drugs, I went off the rails, and then after that, I had loads of failed businesses. And then I got into transformational work and working with coaches, and then starting to work all around mindset and the way you view yourself in the world. And literally 35 years later, I was sat in this seminar in London, one of landmark seminars. And I just was brought back to that moment there, 35 years ago at the time, it was, I don't know, something like that, 30 years ago. And I was just remembering what my father said, that the most important thing in life is mental attitude. And he's right, he's absolutely so right. But what is mental attitude? So what I would say mental attitude is it's made up of two things. One, the way you view yourself in the world. And secondly, it's how you choose to respond based on how you view yourself in the world. So most people live in a reactionary existence. Something happens, it doesn't go to plan, or they get dumped, or they get fired, and they hit rock bottom, and they go, ah, and they go through all these cycles and all of that. And then at some point, then they choose something better. And then when they choose something better, and they get a new job, or they just choose to be single, or they get a better relationship, or they start traveling, or you just enter into that next phase of your life. I'm sure you've experienced this, uh, as I have, as all of us have. And then all of a sudden you then realize, ah, oh, you know what? That's the best thing that ever happened to me. That thing ending, that thing not working is actually the best thing that's happened to me. And now if I look back, all the relationships that haven't worked, I wouldn't want to be in them now. And if maybe you're recently out of a relationship, you're still in that phase of, oh, I don't know, I don't know if I want to be in it or not. But you give it time and I promise you, you'll get to a point where you realize, 
I don't want to be in that anymore. Now, what was missing at the time that had us not realized to just get up, do something about it and create and make that area of our life better? Our mental attitude was out of balance. The way we were viewing ourselves in the world was disempowering and because we were disempowered, we didn't have the courage to get up and create something better for ourselves. So our mental attitude really is the secret to all success. Another way of saying it is mindset. Everything is down to mindset. You know, in all success, in all the, like, all the people that became self-made millionaires, of all the people that I've coached that have, you know, succeeded in extraordinary ways. You can go to my website and you can see I've got pages full of testimonies from people saying that they've had huge breakthroughs and lives have transformed completely. Of all the results that they got, of all the money that people made out there in the world, of all the, like, the great things that people that have created or achieved that left them very fulfilled, 80% of all of those things was mindset. Only 20% was actual strategy. Really. Put it this way. I can tell you that the way to succeed is to go into a bank, go and borrow $20,000 pounds, and then go and invest it in a business. Use it to go and set up a business. You know, and do your study. Go and find a market that's got a lot of demand in it, Go and find out what you really want to do, then create something new that merges the two so that you're fulfilled and you can go forward. Then just go and borrow money and just go for it. Many, many people just wouldn't do it. They just wouldn't borrow that level of money out of a fear of failing, that they couldn't pay it back and things like that. And there you go, that's then the mindset that's missing. And so if we have the right mindset, then we will take these risks. We will take on these challenges. It doesn't mean being irresponsible. But once we have the right mental attitude, once we have the right mindset, the last 20%, the how to, we just work it out. It just comes together, that's really easy. How to do something is answered all online. It's, you can find that anywhere. You could speak to people and get the answers very quickly. And so many people just get lost in this thing of once I know how to do something, I can then do it. No, it's nothing to do with that. It's not more knowledge you're looking for. What you're looking for is a transformation in the way you view yourself and the world. And if you work with a skilled coach, they'll enable you to really distinguish what are the views and ways you have of viewing yourself that's holding you back from taking those actions that are important. Because once you then take those important actions, then that's when results start to show. And then that is when you start getting the fulfillment and the enjoyment of creating results. A whole nother level still is start to take on an enlightened way of being. Start practicing being enlightened through meditating and approaching life because what that does is it gives you this freedom from circumstances. You don't even need loads of money. You don't need big results to be fulfilled. You start to find yourself just really in the journey, just really enjoying life. And once you have that, you just become unstoppable because you don't care what happens anyway. You just give it a go. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So what? Just get back up and start again. So if you've got an insight or you've got anything that inspired you today or you've learned something, then click that like button. Enable me to boost these videos to the top so I can have more people like you, business owners, entrepreneurs, and people that are committed to creating and living their dream lifestyle to become empowered with all the knowledge that I can possibly give you. Doing this is me fulfilling my dreams, my goals, and my ambitions because nothing brings me more happiness than to see people like you succeed and take your life to the next level. Well done for taking the time to watch this video and I look forward to seeing you in a future episode. Namaste.